Aloha from a walk tonight's game between the Oregon Ducks and the Hawaii Rainbows. Good evening, everybody. I'm Todd McKim along with Greg Mosier, and welcome to what has been a perfect day and a perfect night for football. Temperature about 75 degrees, no wind, just a gorgeous evening for tonight's contest between these two teams. Greg, as you look at the two squads, I guess both of them feel this is their bowl game. The Ducks come in at six and five, but they've lost four in a row. They had bowl hopes, obviously, this season. Hawaii comes in with a record of eight and three, and by all accounts, maybe should have been in a bowl game. So how do the two teams approach this game? Well, it's the 12th game of the regularly 11-game season. And when you have that, the aspects that Oregon did have a good chance to go to a bowl, had some disappointing losses, and Hawaii, on the other hand, eight and three, they think they should be in a bowl game. As a matter of fact, the, the hula bowl that's over here, they thought they should have got that bid. So they've got an extra game here, and both of them feel slighted and feel like this is their bowl game. Look at the Ducks. Uh, this is the first qu the uh, quarterback start for Bobby Brothers, freshman from Marist High School, and the coaching staff just felt it's time to give him a start. Yeah, he's been coming in the last two games, uh, Pete Nelson getting hurt, of course, and they just felt that if they had him as the starter, give him all the practice time during the week, that he could do a much better job job and it's, he's going to have to play a good game but the other people around him are going to have to pick up their intensity a little bit concentrate on their jobs to make it so Bobby Brothers doesn't have to win the game himself. Yeah, exactly you look at Hawaii on the other hand they have a very explosive offense they call it a spread offense with two wide receivers two slot backs and a fullback and it's similar I guess to what Arizona ran all it's, it's not out of the wishbone formation. Yeah it's very similar they won't see as much option as Arizona ran but they've got the same aspects they've got a strong running game with the fullback and they've got tremendous team speed and anytime they can spread the field out with the four wide receivers and have an effective running game they're gonna cause some problems. Also look at the fact that this ball game is the final ball game for the Oregon seniors. There's a motivational factor there, but the team also has been over here for two days now, laying in the sun. It's tough, you know, to, to keep your concentration on football, isn't it? It certainly is. I mean, you talk about the, the greatest place for distractions. Everywhere is a distraction over here. Uh, and uh, what do you say? I mean, yeah. I would not want the job to get those guys ready to play a football game. So it'll be interesting to see what we have tonight as the Oregon Ducks seek their seventh victory of the season, take on the Hawaii Rainbows. We'll be back with tonight's opening kickoff in just a moment. 